Whenever a review process has been completed on an electronic plan submission, you will receive an email similar to the one seen here. Note that the email contains the unique project identification number and, in this case, a statement requesting corrections as a result of plan review. To begin the process of submitting the corrections, simply follow the link to log into Project Docs and using your email and password, log in just as you would normally. You'll notice that under Recent Projects, your project now shows up because we've accessed it previously. Click the link for the project number, and we will see that the Applicant Resubmit task is highlighted. Click the Applicant Resubmit task. You'll get a pop-up window asking you if you want to accept the task. Say OK. Clicking OK will open the Applicant Resubmit task pop-up window. The first area that we're going to look at is the View Edit Change Mark Items. Clicking on that button will open up a list of the change marks for the plan set. Notice that you have status, a thumbnail of the file image, the appropriate review department indicated, and then the markup name. If you want to see the specific details on the markup name, you can click the link, which will open up the viewer file viewer window with the actual change mark and the contents of the change mark text. Further over in this window, there is a field for the applicant to respond to the reviewer's comments. Be sure to click Save, and then you can leave this page at any time to do additional work. When you have made the necessary corrections to address the review comments, you will be uploading the revised drawings back into the appropriate folder. Please note, it is extremely important that you do not change the file name from the original file. Doing so will not allow the software to properly version your electronic submission, which may result in delays in plan review and permit issuance. One way to manage this process is to simply set up a new folder for the revised drawings. Here you can see we've stored the changed drawings to address the reviewers comments. Now uploading the files is simple. Click on the drawings folder, select your files to upload, and just as in our upload process we will browse for files, go to our revised folder, select the five drawings we revised and upload the files. Close this pop-up window and you'll notice that there is a V2 now next to the files that we uploaded with revisions. We now scroll to the bottom, indicate that we have addressed the comments, addressed the change mark items and uploaded the revised drawings and click complete. You will once again get the pop-up window warning you that selecting complete will finish your portion of the task and cannot be undone. So make sure that you have all the necessary drawings uploaded before you click complete. If you're certain that you have all the necessary documentation re-uploaded, then click OK. If there are revision fees due, you will have to make those payments prior to allowing your plan to progress back to the plan review process. Simply close this window and return to the online permit portal to complete the payment process as you did when you applied for the permit.
now we can go back into the applicant resubmit task and complete the task. And the window indicates that the resubmit has been received.